Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. So in this video, we are going to discuss about device drivers. So this is a video lecture series of embedded systems subject. Uh, we have actually done a couple of videos on uh, various topics of embedded systems. Uh, now we are going to discuss about device drivers. Okay, so if you are a person who is preparing for KTU examination of S6, uh, these lecture series are mainly focused on you. Okay, so let us discuss about device drivers in this video. So the first thing, uh, that is the introduction. What is a device driver? I'm pretty sure that all of you have heard of the term device driver because uh, in a normal person's uh, words, if you are using a pen drive, if you are connecting a pen drive to your laptop, I'm sure that you have you have seen an icon uh, or uh, like it is a command which is popping up uh, that device driver is getting ready. Okay, now what is device driver? It is actually a function which is used for initializing and management of some hardware okay so as a small definition you can see a device driver is a function which does interaction with the device hardware that is for example a pen drive also it sends control to the uh, control commands to the device that is a hardware and communicates data with the device and run codes for reading device data okay uh, I'm just taking an example of pen drive. It can be any other thing. It can be your phone. It can be any other hardware which are going to connect to a, a system. And the device driver is actually a function or it is some software which will help the initialization, controlling, reading and all these things of the hardware. Okay. So that is the very basic definition of a device driver. Okay. Whichever device you want to drive or whichever device or hardware you want to drive, that is driven with the help of the software called device driver okay so that completes the basic definition now let us move on to the various types of device drivers we are mainly focusing on three types uh, of device drivers in this uh, video which is for interrupt handling for uh, memory management and also for bes okay first category is for interrupt handling uh, so uh, these are functions various functions are there that is various device drivers are there for handling of various interrupt conditions okay now this uh, interrupt handling device driver mainly depends on the types the number and the priority level of the interrupts and how the interrupts are triggered and also it depends on the interrupt policies of components within the system that is what all policies the um, the system is following when interrupts are coming these all things uh, are depending on uh the device drivers that is the device drivers will be depending on these all factors okay i'm sure that uh, you have uh, heard of the interrupts and also the types of interrupts the number of interrupts and the priority level of interrupts and how interrupts are triggered that is what all things will uh, make the triggering of interrupt and what are the policies uh, followed by the system to handle the interrupts all these factors really matter when come coming to designing of device drivers now let us move on to some examples of uh, device drivers for interrupt handling. First one, interrupt handling startup means whenever the system is powered on, the system should be ready to uh, to handle the arrival of interrupts, right? So that thing is made uh, ready with the help of this device driver called interrupt handling startup. So when the system is started up or when the system is powered on, it is also the interrupt handling mechanism is also turned on okay and that is done with the help of this device driver next interrupt handling shutdown means the reverse when the system is getting shut down interrupt handling is also shut down next interrupt handling disable means you are going to disable uh, the interrupt handling for a particular period of time so consider that some critical uh, condition is happening or in the case of some uh, non maskable interrupt if the system is processing then further interrupts cannot be handled right so in that case interrupt handling is disabled next one interrupt handling enable means it is going to enable the interrupt handling next interrupt handler servicing means it is actually used for servicing of any particular interrupt or interrupt service routine okay next memory device driver just like the case of interrupts the memory also has to be controlled coordinated and everything okay so the software must provide the system with the ability to access various portion of the memory map memory map we have already seen it is actually the tabular arrangement of in which all uh, address locations of the memory what all data is present okay so the various memories or the memory subsystem is also 
uh, needed to be initialized it, should, it, uh, it need to be controlled coordinated everything has to be done managing of the memory is also essential right and that is handled or uh, made possible with the help of this memory device drivers now let us uh, see some of the examples of device drivers first type of device driver is memory subsystem startup means a particular memory area if you want to start up you can use this device driver next memory subsystem shutdown means it is going to and that is when the system is going to a power off state this memory is also getting turned off right for that purpose we can use this memory subsystem disabled means a particular area of memory is disabled next memory subsystem enable means you are going to enable that area next memory subsystem write memory subsystem read for reading and writing of uh, data to a memory area okay now when you are writing your examination you mainly has to focus on the name of this device drivers now you can write uh, the uh, definitions that is what is the meaning of this device drivers by your own okay you just need to understand you don't need to buy hard the uh, you don't need to buy hard the uh, answers okay next one onboard best device driver now we know that bes is a, a piece of wire or a, a wire which is used for uh, transmitting and receiving of data right we use beses in all systems for connection between various uh, peripherals and various onboard systems okay now this bes is also need to be coordinated the communication over the bes has also uh, need to be assisted okay and that is made possible with the help of onboard best device drivers okay various best follow actually various best protocols we have actually studied about various best which are i squared c can these are various bases and every best follow its own protocol right in order to assist that protocol in order to control that protocol and the best uh, functioning we make use of various device drivers the first one is best startup so when the system is getting started or it is in the power on state the bes also has to be started right the bes should be ready to send and receive data so that is uh, made possible with the help of bes startup uh, device driver next bes shutdown means it is going to a power off state next is bes disable means it is going to uh, disable a bes enable means it is going to enable a bes okay next bes acquire if uh, some unit want to uh, control or uh, if it want to gain access to a bes means it can use this device driver bes release means if a system want to free the bes this device driver is used next bes read write for reading and writing to the bes bes install and bes uninstall means if you want to install a new bes uh, that is consider that there is an existing bes okay you want to install a portion uh, to a to the existing bes uh then we can use this bes install device driver bes uninstall means a portion of the bes you can uninstall with the help of this bes uninstall device driver okay that is on the fly itself that is when the system is working uh, at that condition itself if you want to perform install and uninstall we can we can use this two device drivers okay so that's all about the device drivers we have actually discussed about three types of device drivers in this video for handling of various interrupts for handling of various uh, memory functions for best handling okay so uh, there are various type of device drivers further we have just included three types and we have actually covered almost all areas from those three areas okay now if you are uh, yet confused about device driver just understand that this device driver is actually a piece of program which is used for performing some functions uh, for handling either interrupt mechanism or memory handling or some hardware controlling uh, or best connection best you know that it is a piece of wire right so just like that for controlling or coordinating of any other hardware we can make use of these device drivers okay so that's all about this video i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up so that i can make sure that the video was useful and also comment your uh, comment your comments rega uh, regarding the video improvement the contents to be included and everything in the comment section and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel many people are still watching the channel without subscribing please do subscribe and support the growth of the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching